Good morning, friends. This is a totally different setup today, so we'll see how it goes. I am finally going to paint a piece of furniture. Now, I started that one kind of octagonal around, I don't know if it's octagonal, it could have been six. I don't know how many sides it has, and obviously I'm not in math class, and I'm not doing well with it today, but um, I've never really liked that plan, so I'm gonna pull it out, and we're gonna start all over again on it. But today, I shared, if you get my telegram and you get my text about joining me, if you if you get that, and then I'm gonna do this a little bit like that. There we go. Um, and if you um, if you got those, then I gave you like options. Okay, before we get started, let me tell you real fast, my t-shirts are in. I'm wearing mine that says, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm totally fine. It says, I'm fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. These are available on the website, they're $20.99. It's hard to see, it's very subtle, see? I'm fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. Because that's exactly what I said. It's a little different than what everybody else says. And then, I have my boondoggle one. I'm gonna point this up on the other one. Let's see if we can see it and then focus in on it. Let me get out of the way. See it back there, the blue boondoggle behind all the paint. Super cute, super cute. So those are both available on, hello, on the website if you would like to get those. So um, we are working on, this is the piece I chose out of all those. I loved them all, but this was my favorite one. So this is what we're working on. Isn't that cool? I love all the shades in there. I looked at that, I said, that's Petticoat Pink, that's Kissing Booth, that's Firestarter. There could be a little coral or yellow. We're just gonna play. This is my inspiration. I'm not copying it completely because that's just kind of wrong. So, anyway, um, I have done a base coat of, I'm gonna pull this back. Let me go to this one there. Oh, that is such an awesome view of my arms. Lord bless us all. Okay, so this is what we're doing. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and, nope, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna see my arm. This is, so I have just, I'm just putting a base coat of petticoat pink. And I have a bunch of colors. Let's just go through these real fast while you all can see them. If you join, please say hello. And if you're in a replay, say hello. Um, I have some painterly, okay. I have Petticoat Pink. These are my original picks. Petticoat Pink, Petticoat Pink, and then Firestarter, which I think it needs it. So if we look at it right here, do you, I'm seeing Petticoat Pink, little kissing booth, maybe Cowgirl Coral or Firestarter mixed, I don't know. Some Firestarter there, and then I also brought in some, um, because I feel like this is kind of a berry. Hey, hi Peggy, how are you doing, Sweet Pea? How you feeling, everything good? Um, Kissing Booth is kind of a berry, Petticoat Pink, um, Fire Starter, these are my three. Good morning. No, no, I didn't, I know. Throw you, threw y'all off, huh? Okay, and then I grabbed Queen Bee, because you could always use that little crinoline in case we need to break it up or something, and some Cowgirl Coral, because as I was looking at the picture, I thought, well, I need options. And then in my painterly, I grabbed our Oak Flame, which is kind of our orange. It looks like it's neon, it's not. And then Love love Language, also got Poetic Pink and Confections. Now, I, so these are basically oranges and pinks. You know, it's the warm, we're on the warm spectrum. Oh, good, yay! Okay, good, yes, come see me. Come see it, come, come get a hug. And I've got all kinds of tools up here. I've got my water bottle. I've got brushes and the gajillions. Cause you know, I like to I like to be prepared so I don't run off and I'm gonna get on the floor and getting up from the floor is not gonna be easy. I have like this silicone to use. I also have like a old Costco card and then I have these little scrapers because part of this, if you, let's look at this one more time. That bottom part at the bottom, that looks like it's been, um, partially scraped so you know I'm just in we'll see and this is just we're just getting started so I you know I don't know how it's gonna go I really don't know how it's gonna go but 
T-shirts the t-shirts are available. They are $20.99 and I go up to 2X, small to 2X. I have gone ahead and started painting with um, petticoat pink and I'm gonna get down on the floor so that I can get to the bottom. We are just putting a base coat of pink on there. So, um, I'm the worst cousin, cousin, so I apologize. <laughs> I barely keep up with everybody. So, I'm going to maybe move this over here. Just bear with me, because I hate to get my head in it for you all. There we go, there we go. So I'm just, I just have a coat of petticoat pink. This is the, a piece that I use for storage. I've had this thing for like four and a half years, and I wanted to paint it a long time ago, and I just, I started using it. Then I was gonna store it in the back, and I just never got around to it because, you know, there's something that always gets in the way. So, let me know if there is a piece of furniture you are wanting to paint. And um, if you want, I could do just a solid, show you all how to do a solid color. I'm going to go back up here and while well, that's drying, and we can put a good solid pink up here so you can see. This is one coat and I've just kind of slapped it on there because I you know I don't want to I'm gonna have to turn this down so when I go to this you all can see me there we go um so anyway this is just would be a second coat and I just can smooth it out with this I've just added I'm not using any water and um I'm I just added some to smooth it out if I want to. I'm just painting right over the knobs. I may decide to change them and go with brass knobs. I don't know, but um, I'm just giving a quick zhuzh with pink. I could do a totally solid color if I wanted to, um, but I just thought I'm gonna do the whole process with you. Oh, which one is it, grandmothers? Which one is it? Um. Gosh, I was trying to remember her kitchen, Peggy. You know, because she had, <laughs> looking back now, I, 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 there's so many things I didn't pay attention to, but I love, you know, she had that really fancy, um, guys, Peggy is my first cousin. And so, our grandmother, she had, I have her china hutch, and it was this Victorian china hutch. I don't know where it came from. I'd love to know that. And then, in her kitchen, and because she didn't really have a dining room. I, don't know, I guess her living room and dining room was together. I'm not really sure. And it's, um, but, and then she also had a washer and dryer in there. So, because, you know, they just added it later. I think the house, I mean, it was there when she had my dad in 25. And even, I think, when they had June. I don't really know the history of it. I should probably try and find that out. That, I don't know. I know some things. Like, I know where her family comes from. I know there's her great-grandparents were born in Scotland. I have all that, but I don't know exactly when my grandfather and my grandmother built that house and all the things that I'm not sure of. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I did not know our granddad. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can send me a picture. I won't get it right now because I'm using all my pieces and I've got it on Do Not Disturb because people call me, like my children. Yeah, so when you're putting on a second coat, you want to go with it, you want to go easy because it water, it's reactivated by, um, like you can't, some paints you can just go on and go on and go on. Yes, I remember that one. Yes, 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 yes. Because her room was right next to the bathroom do they have one or two bathrooms? I don't remember. Did she, next to the, yeah, I'm trying to remember her house. It's been decades, y'all, decades. pre brangled as well. So, um, I'm trying to remember. I do remember that one, I think. Anyway, so when you're painting, you just wanna go ginger. You wanna make sure it's dry. This was a quick coat. I'm just wanting to get these. I'm not, this doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna put texture on here as well. And that's the beauty of this of DIY paint. Uh, to to prepare this, one Beth, I thought so. To prepare this, we just did. I just wiped it down with um, a baby wipe. I just got the dirt off of it. Now, if it's got like grease and stuff, if you're doing your kitchen, you're going to need to use a degreaser. There's a lot more prep 
I mean, it's a kitchen. Let's think about it, folks. But if it's just a dresser that doesn't have any dings or doesn't have any kind of, if it's got some wood, this is sealed. And I really wasn't even worried about anything that might be open because I'm doing so many colors. The tannins will just be part of it. But if you're going to do a solid color and light, I would totally, um, you know, just be aware of any kind of open pores to the wood because that's when tannins come through. Anyway, I thought it was one bath up there by her bedroom, right? And then there was two more bedrooms, one across the hall, then the two, the twin beds that had the door in, which I always thought that was interesting. I think that was, was that our dad's room? I don't even know how they live there. I barely remember. So crazy. Anyway, it was, um, it was a cute little house. So super cute on the side of a hill. And it's in Pope Hollow. We've got a hollow, a hollow named after holler as we say it. So, yes. All right. It was so funny, guys. When I was in market for um, buying, um, I can kind of turn right here and talk to you. When I was in market for buying, they um, would ask where we live, and um, <laughs> we would say for sales, which is like Versailles, but it's for sales. And they were like, "What?" I was like, "It's Kentucky version of Versailles." Okay, it's like for sale, but for sales. And so that's how we say it, like Louisville, it's not Louisville. I'm sure originally it was Louisville. I think um, Charleston was Charlestown originally. So, you know, there you go. Okay, so I've just got a good coat over this. I'm gonna hit this with um, a little bit of heat, just so, and I'm, you know, I'm not really, I oh, love my baggy arms. I'm not concerned about the knobs. We're gonna be doing a lot to it. So does anybody have any questions about painting? Because this is a good time to ask me. Okay. I'm just using my embossing gun. It's not the one that Lee gave me. Because this one, I feel like this is just faster. So anyway, any questions? If you would share this and comment and Give me um, hearts and likes on both Facebook and YouTube. It would be great because it lets both platforms know that, oh my gosh, people like her. We need to share her. We need to push her out. That would be great. Um, guys, I still have a, we have a really good product of the crafting type. And so all this paint is available online or local. I have the brushes. If you have any questions, you can pop them in the comments. And I can answer them right now, or I'll come back and answer them later. I am still shipping out to everyone. So if you um, are interested in anything you see here, please let me know. If you don't see it on the website, you can find it at VintageBandedSmart.com. My open studio is up and going. You need to buy a, you need to go in and either buy the membership and then message me when you want to come. I just can't sit around for hours. I, you know, I'd be working 12, 14 hours a day. So I just need to know if you're, if you're buying, I'm going to do a whole little video about that and put it out there um, so people will kind of know. So the thing about our paint, it's clay-based, so it's going to dry lighter. It's, um, it will dry like, um, Adobe, the clay. You know how Adobe houses will dry out from the dark orange clay. They'll go to a lighter kind of coral. So that's that's kind of what this does. So this one up here, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, there we go. This is a good, this would be like, I would go in and I would keep this and just rub back and then this could be a solid. And then I would just go in, I would wipe this off a little bit and then put some gold um, kissing booth or, um, not kissing booth, golden ticket, oh my gosh, golden ticket on it. There we go. Okay, so let's look at our picture again. I'm gonna get in your, get in your way, right there. Okay, so I have mine. I am looking at the top. So I'm gonna come in with some fire starter just up here at the top and 
So let's talk about how we're gonna break this up. There's three sections. So I'm gonna break this up one, two, and then the skirt. Let's let me see. The skirt down here is gonna be these two is gonna be this is gonna be a section. So one, two, oh no, three. I've got three. I can't count. What's new? So we're gonna treat this like the top section. And it's gonna be the orange. I love how it's got some splatter. So this is gonna be some layering. I may need to topple this over on its back gently, not actually topple. And so I'm going to I'm just have a plate down here. Normally I don't use stuff I throw away, but I'm gonna be using so much today and I got a lot going on. I'm just gonna stick this on the side. I'm not even gonna change my brush. I'm gonna use this brush because I love it. And I'm just going to go in and just kind of spread it around. And I'm just gonna go in with the fire starter up here on this top drawer. Who's freaking out? Anybody having a panic attack? Let me know. I'd love to know if anybody is freaking out in the comments. If you think I'm already ruining it, let me know. Because I'd love to know if you're panicking. Here's the situation, guys. Let's say I do this. And what's the worst? What's the absolute worst? I'm using very little paint. Very little paint with this. What's the worst that could happen? What's the absolute worst that could happen, friends? Now, if I were selling this, I would totally take the drawers out and do it way better, but this is mine, and it's for storage. So, I'm really not, I'm just laying down my blocks of color. I'm not really worried about it. Anybody freaking out? I need you to give me some um, thumbs up, or, you know, what are you thinking? Are, you, are we freaking out yet about the colors? About the orange? The fire starter? I love it. So I'm just putting some on there like that. Just those top layers. Isn't that cool? I know, you're probably like, what, on, what in the world? If you go back and pull it up, you'll see kind of what I'm doing. And I will do the sides. I'll probably just do those pink. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe we'll work on that together. We can work on it together. Um, I have totally dropped the ball on my 20 days. So I don't know what this is, but we're gonna keep going. This week's been a little crazy. We've got tons of product in. So it's been a bit of a party, I'm just gonna say. We've been doing lots of getting tags and all kinds of things. Okay, so let me show you. Let's look at it right here. Okay, so we've got the orange at the top, and right here is kind of orange and pink. So what I want to do is maybe do a little water right here and then just get a little paint on my brush and I'm just gonna put this up so I can see it. It's all got, it all, it all has got. And so we're just going to pull this down like this. Do you see kind of going down and then like this? And the water kind of pulls it. We're just kind of if I get too much, that's fine. I can go back with the pink. I'm loving that right there. So you can, it can, it doesn't have to be the same. And some of the, some of the paint is coming off with the wood underneath it. Let's stop and do a little drying. Any questions? And I'm, I love that right there. I do. I'm gonna add a little kissing booth to that. And then when I want like bright, bright stuff, I can go in with my painter lid. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a dry. Here's the thing, when you're doing layers like this, you want to let it dry, either let it dry or make it dry and I'm making it dry, and then, because if you keep gobbing it on, it will turn gray, okay? It will turn a different color, and I don't even mind how, kind of how the brown is coming through, and it's starting with a little green, that's okay. I don't mind that at all. I don't, I don't have to keep it just like this picture. I mean, this is inspiration. It doesn't have to be identical at all. 
I don't mind that. And they left their top stained. Good morning, Virginia. They left their top stained. I'm not doing that. I'm painting it. And so this this holds, what's fun, this holds all my stencils and my transfers, my paint inlays, stuff for classes that's all full of like um, the, you know, the grid flex stampers. Um, it, it just has a lot of tools in here and they're tiny little drawers, which I love. And so I can just organize my stuff and these will be available in the... And that's why I'm clean. That's why I'm doing it for the um, Makers Open Studio because um, they will be. Um, and I went back and forth on that. I'm just losing my mind. Anyway, how the name is, but they'll be available for people who want to come in and utilize the Maker Studio. So now I'm going to take some kissing booth and the open studio and i'm going to just do a little bit i'm going to show you my plate right here i'm probably going to keep the same brush so i've got i'm going to mix this with a little bit of the pink and the orange which i don't care we're going to layer that on and just kind of do the same thing here it's looking a little bubble gum i don't want it to be bubble gum so we're going to go in and take some of that I love the berry of it and it probably is going to need like a coral in here as well so because this looks more like it should be down here that colors down there so yeah because this kind of blends right there those two colors kind of go together See if we can do that with the orange and make it go up a little bit. And then, am I freaking y'all out yet? And then I'll just kind of dry brush up a bit. And the texture I have underneath there will grab it and show up, if that makes any possible sense at all. Any questions? Hey Terry, how are you doing sweetie? Any questions? Please ask questions, I love to answer them. If you're watching, just say hi. If you don't say hi, I don't know you're there. That's all I'm gonna say. If you, I don't, if you don't say hi, I don't even know you're there, okay? If you don't say hi to me, I don't know you are there. Now, typically, you should pro maybe probably get a clean brush, you know? I don't know. I like using the same brush on lots of things. I do. Wait, where am I going? There we go. There we go. I like, you know why I like to use the same brush? Because I don't want to have to clean it. Let's just be honest. I don't want to have to clean so many brushes. Because I'm the one that cleans them, you know? So, I don't really want to. But I'm going to set this aside. And let's put this pa palette right here. So this, this is where we are. You can kind of see orange. So I feel like we might need to take a little bit of the coral and put it here. Maybe we're going to take a scraper. Let me show you what we're doing. I'm just taking this and I've got a bunch of paint on that. And I'm just going to wipe it like here. And then I'm going to go in and scrape it on here a little bit like that on the edges. Or I could, there's another thing, you could totally go in, take some paint like this, and then scrape it off with your scraper that I'm taking off. So we'll have to figure that out. Or just dry brush it down because I think we need to carry the berry down a bit do we not I think so yeah when we look at it it goes all the way down some okay so let's pull some cowgirl coral just a little bit just a smidgen and I'm just gonna use the same brush this one here and just kind of do 
do this right in there. Kind of just take it up. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I just, yes. Hi, Maureen. I just do not, I hate, I hate to clean the, I, I, I hate clean brushes. Right now, this is my favorite drawer. <laughs> I'll take pictures up close and share them in the comments for you all, okay? It's always got to look a little hideous before it gets better. I'm just going to let y'all know that, okay? There's a bit of a, there's a bit of a learning curve just to, just until we figure out where we're going. And so, bear with me. To look, you know, just they kind of speak to you, these pieces do. And then they kind of let you know what you want, what they want you to do. And, you know, then you just have to kind of quit. So you're not doing too much. A dry brush is an awesome tool. Can you kind of see? And you're probably like, nobody would have that in their house. I'm not done. I'm totally not done yet. <laughs> and I will have this in my shop. <laughs> so if you come out and you want to see it, you can come see it at the shop in person. <laughs> Live and in person, what time is it? I have to open. Is it, oh, we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Y'all are just like watching somebody, watching paint dry is so exciting. Okay, any questions, comments, concerns? Anybody, is anybody into the Dune thing that's coming out? Is it coming out this weekend? I gotta talk to Joseph, because we've gotta go see. Because, you know, my oldest is all the movies. So, anybody? Okay, here's a good question. Here's a really good question. Let me turn this to me right here. Okay. So, have you ever had a movie where you, there was a scene in like a house or a shop. Is there, I have a movie, and I'm gonna tell you what it is in a second, that just was like, Oh, I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. Does Have you ever seen a movie? Do you ever go to movies and think, that is my jam? That whole thing is my jam. Do you know what I'm talking about? So I have one movie that's like that, and I love it. It's called Something's Gotta Give. She has a beach house, which I adore. It's I, I remember slowing it down and on my phone and screenshotting the house. Different spots, her kitchen. Oh, gosh, I was like so coveting that kitchen. And then in the movie, it's complicated. Her shop, where she was a bakery, she had a bakery, so cute. And I would screenshot it and I was like, oh, love it. So, you know, do you ever get inspired by that? Um, do you, does that make any sense what I'm saying? Do you ever, does anybody ever do that in movies? Because I would be like, I need to screenshot that. <laughs> I need to reference that someday. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I kind of let the piece talk to me a little bit. I'm a little cray. You know what I'm saying, Felicia? We're probably, you get what I'm saying. And if you don't get that, then this is, you know, that's totally fine. I didn't always get it, um, you know, because I've been painting furniture for years. Two or three decades, let's be honest. I'm old. So, um, yeah. I'm going to pull this, I'm going to pull down the, um, the phone, my other camera, so you all can get in here. Now, when it dries, it dries lighter, so it's going to be a bit skewed, the coloring, and I will totally wax this, because I think that will give us a great look with the wax. We could also use white wax. Let's be cray-cray together, girl, because they all talk to me. I'm like, you're not liking this, like that brown I'm doing, it's purple and green, and maybe colors speak to me. I don't know. Maybe it's the colors that speak to me. I don't know. I don't know. But I think in colors, like that's a big blob. I'm just gonna wipe it so it dries faster. <laughs> and I have found that if I heat dry these, it sets it a little bit. So, um, you know, okay, yes, isn't that, I'm just saying, hang on, I'm going to scoot you over and I'm gonna lower this just a little bit so that you all can be maybe right here with me a little bit closer. There we go. 
and then I can pull it forward. <laughs> Got a big tub of water. I just want y'all to see it. Now, I don't want you to see my arms, but, okay, so you can see it closer. You see? Look at that. It's looking not so fabulous. I get that, but we're going to go back up to the top. I think the orange is a little wet, but that's okay. And let's, and then we're going to go in maybe with a scraper and do those bits right there. I'm going to need my glasses for this. I love that. And I don't know if we need to use some kind of like textural thing, like go in and add some, thank you, and add some, oh, what, add, um, like some baking soda or something and baking powder and let it bubble up and then I don't know if we're gonna do that. So we're we're just thinking about things, okay? I am gonna take my scraper. I'm gonna try and scrape some pink on there. Maybe I need to use this one. Maybe I need to use my silicone one. Is this what we're doing? Yeah, okay. And just do a little, I'm just gonna do a little um, petticoat pink, just a little bit to see. I don't know. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just tapping it down in here, and then I just kind of scrape the edges just a little bit, because you know, so we can just see if we can get. That works a whole lot better than that one does. Look at that. So just tapping it in, and if it's too much, we can come back in and see kind of what I'm doing. I want y'all to see. Um, I am going to be having a BYOP class. Now, in that class, we do not do this. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. We could do one like this where we learn to do this, but this would probably just be like um, we all have, we have two or three boards and we're just going to learn some techniques. We will not be bringing in a piece of furniture. This, the, the BYOP is where you bring in a small piece, no buffets allowed. It's gotta be easy to carry. You've gotta be able to bring it in yourself. And um, yeah, so um, there we go. So it's just another layer. It's not great. Don't freak out. We're just, it's just another layer for, um, oh, come on. I'm just gonna lay this right here so it's close to me. It's just another layer to, it's just building. And this is, okay, if you want to practice patience, let me tell you, this is a great way to practice patience. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, because you kind of have to do it, back away, do it, go get a Coke, go get some chocolate, Go read a book, watch a movie, come back the next day because sometimes it'll it'll beat you. But you're kind of getting you're kind of getting the story. And I see some you know some yellow on there, so I think I'd want to add that in. But I'm just kind of now I just grab some coral just to add a different texture. And you you just don't have to. So we can take this flat surface and with the right tools, and you can just use a credit card. Let's do that. I don't want you to think you have to go buy anything expensive. Like, this is just a Costco card, and I'm just going to do that right there. It does a great job, too. If you, It's almost like a chalkboard, so don't, if you don't like it, turn down your volume for just a second. This would be good for ASMR, wouldn't it? <gasps> yeah. Anyway. So it's a little, like, there's spots, like, right there. I love, I love that. I love this drawer right here. It's my favorite right now. So, just gonna say that. Just gonna put that out there. So you just go in and you just add layers. Now, I think what I want to do, and this is gonna be very controversial, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, I'm gonna take my queen bee, because let's look at this piece one more time. It's got this bright stuff around it. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna put some yellow around the edges. And then, and queen bee is one of my favorites. And then we'll go back and we'll, I'm just gonna use my little insider brush. It's the little bitty one that's, um, this is great. 
Yes. <laughs> it's like, I, I get it, Felicia. I totally do. I get it. Um, if this is your first time watching, let me know that. If you, um, wait, and I'd love to know where you live because, I, you know, I'm just, look at that. I'm just going to go in and I'm just putting a little yell. Let's put it where you can actually see it, like right here. Right there, just on the edge. I have this much paint. It's almost like dry brushing. It's almost like dry brushing it just to give it a pop of this yellow. It's, I'm not gonna be just like the book. I mean, the, the book, the picture, hello. Um, just, it's just another layer. And inside here, we're just gonna, I really don't worry about in between the drawers. <laughs> so obviously I don't worry about in between the drawers because I'm not doing anything. And then I'm just gonna go back and just kind of dry brush it where I think I need some more. And the texture underneath it catches it, which is really fun. And I would totally practice this. Oh, hello, Felicia, it's early, isn't it? What time is it there? Oh, Santa Barbara was one of my favorite soaps. Who remembers soaps? Because they, you know, my mom thought they were so trashy. And Lord, if she could see TV today, bless it. Soap operas were, you know, well, we have nighttime soaps. My husband loves um, Yellowstone and not anymore. He's, we're kind of over it because we're have, you know, it's just taking so long to get it back or whatever. And I'm just going to put that right there. I'm going to stop because I, I will take and put the yellow everywhere. Okay. Let's just dry, let's just brush that out like that. That's all I'm doing. See, it's barely any paint on it. I think people get scared to um, try, get a, get a old board and just, hey, yes, yes. Denise, did you, did, did, are you the one I forgot to refund? Cause I'm really sorry about that. I, di I did, I did, I did send it to you. I'm so sorry. It's not that I, I totally will do it. You can ask anybody, please give me a good review. I am the customer's always first, so I apologize. I just got covered up, so thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I'm all the time saying, please just remind me, ask me, because it's not that I'm trying to cheat anybody. It just was a lot came through. I think so, and I could be remembering wrong. So I'm just, I just went in and just did a little dry brush. Let's do a little heat, and then we'll go back with, and I so appreciate it, you don't even know. You really don't know. I mean, guys, I completely forgot to give, um, I think it's Denise, maybe not, ordered um, my floral anthology, and somehow my whole records are off, and so when I had the, uh, the IOD sale, and um, I never I never gave her, her, I never refunded her, and so she reached out to me, praise the Lord, and I was like, uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I knew I had, and there's more, there's more of y'all. You need to remind me, please, okay? Because I had not been, I have not had orders because I have not been online, you know? And, um, I've not been here with y'all, and I'm sorry about that. It's just been crazy. This whole brick and mortar on Main Street, is, it's a learning curve, y'all. It's a learning curve. But I am up for the challenge. Um, so if I've forgotten it, let me know. Because I have some Monaghan papers that are out. My whole, my, my entire inventory is got kind of janky when I switched over. I don't know. Anyway, okay, it looks like a lot of yellow. Don't panic. Don't anybody panic. Because then we're going to go back in with the orange. Yes, we are. We're going to wipe this off. We're going to go back in with some orange. And I'm going to use this one first. And we're just going to kind of pull that down and just layer that in there. If I can get some on here, let's do it right-handed, Beth. And we're just gonna go in, maybe not, maybe not. Why is nothing working for me? See guys, you, everybody looks like, oh my gosh, I can't do it like you do. Well, don't do it like I do, because I'm not doing anything much at all. And just, it's just layering and layering and layering and dry brushing, you know, and it can get, and if you, sometimes, sometimes I go too far and it's just like, what have you done? Hi, Danielle. <gasps> thank you, thank you, Denise, for your grace. I need it every day. And I, seriously, guys, if I owe you something, please remind me. 
because I really am not trying to cheat anybody. It just, I had like 12 come in and I would find one. I'd be like, oh my gosh, I've got a mail. I got to get that out. I just was not, I just dropped the ball on my um, online shop and with you all because I'm just trying to figure out how to do it all and be old and be damaged. Hi, Nancy. And have a damaged brain. So, and people are like, no, you're not damaged. Don't say that. I'm like, oh, I am totally damaged and we're gonna own it and we're gonna run with it and we're gonna use it for the rest of our lives. I earned that. I had a really bad headache yesterday and my husband is like, do we need to go to the hospital? I was like, babe, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not a brain bleed. I'm pretty sure it's just tension and stress and honestly we have had like six degree weather and we're supposed to have snow tonight and so there's a front coming through and i feel those so major so now that this is still my favorite drawer <laughs> look at that looks a little bit awful does it not but we are just building we are building texture and color and i promise I will not quit this one until we get it done together. We're gonna to do this all together, because I've done this in forever, where I did one, and I thought, let's do that. And I may come on several times a day, I don't know. I may, you know, I might come back on tonight after work. I don't know, maybe I'll come in the morning. But I'm just going to work on this. So don't throw your cards away, 741. Well, I get up like at four, so that's awesome. I've never been to Santa Barbara. I want to, I've been to Northern California. I want to go to Southern. I'm going to go see Debbie Beard in her, in her spot next event. My goal is to go to that, but this year was not happening with market and everything. Learning curves everywhere I go, y'all. Woo! Market was one of them. Look at that. Now that's a little. So then we could maybe go up here and get a little of this orange on this dry brush and then just do that. See how it kind of, even though it's got that yellow in there, we could just, I'm just dry brushing it with orange and it will just go in and give us a whole nother texture with it, with the yellow. So I just look at the colors and I think, how do I, you know, I've got too much of pink showing over here. So let's go back in and let's tamp that down, the yellow even. I don't want a lot of that yellow showing. And then I'm also going to put on some stuff to um, kind of eat back the, I love this kind of texture. Let me pull this in for you right there. I love that spot right there. If I can get it in. Can y'all see that? I don't know if my camera will. Isn't that cool? I love that. Oh, are you? Oh, so jealous. I love Debbie. I've met her. She is just, y'all, What she is exactly what she sees. She's an introvert. I don't know if y'all know that or not. So, I know that she, Karen, who was working for IOD, I mean for DIY, she is now, she's just um, a retailer now, but she used to do the new, the new retailers and so I met her and she was like you cannot we are extra extra for Debbie so you've got to go in you can't go in hot you will totally overwhelm her so you've got to go in soft because she's an she's an introvert Debbie's an introvert y'all she's an introvert Debbie is an introvert can you believe that I was like no way she's an introvert she's very she's quiet I mean she once you get to know her she's amazing and she is so precious and she loves the Lord and it is just such a joy to work with people who love Jesus. And so, but I remember um, Karen Berg said, you cannot go in hot. Do not go in hot like us. And I was like, okay, I won't go in hot. I won't go in hot. I'm just kind of trying to smooth out all this and then I'll go over it with one wash at the end. Ooh, that's a lot of pink right there. Let's put a little water on that since I boo-booed there. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And you don't wanna to add too much water because then it all just blends together and you gotta start all over again. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. 
I will post this full picture on the website. <laughs> Good, Felicia, yay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to excuse my fat arm. Uh, let's go this way. There, come on. This, there we go. Okay, remember, my t-shirts are on the website. The blue one says, it's a boondoggle. It's a boondoggle. It's a boondoggle. It's a boondoggle. And it is a, it's like a pale teal blue. And it's, um, it's the colors of my shop. And it goes from like pale pink to like um, a dark raspberry, which is totally my thing. And if you, I say it's a boondoggle. Well, I boondoggle that up because that's kind of one of my words. And then the other one is a pale pink. I have it on right now with gray words. And it says, it's fine. I'm fine. It's totally fine because I fell on the IOD page. And if you want to see that, it's on TikTok right now. And I just shared it probably. It's up on my Instagram account. I share it all the time because it was really awesome and funny, and I took a major fall, and it was fabulous. I didn't hurt myself, but it was great. And thanks to Lee, my friend Lee asked me to look at something, and I reached for it, and I fell, and it was so much fun. And I just keep sharing it all the time because I think it will make people laugh. My girlfriend, she has the whole one, and when she's having a bad day, she watches it. And I'm okay with it. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Um, so, grab the t-shirts. I hope y'all like them. And I have small to 2XL, three of each. So we're just starting small, um, and I wear a medium, and it fits really good. So, um, and yesterday I'm gonna show you a picture of it. I walked around in my boondoggle shirt with chocolate for an hour, because nobody told me. I'm gonna post this. I had where I had, um, we had hot chocolate, because down the street's got amazing hot chocolate, and I had dribbled over my shirt, and I walked around that way and talked to like six different people, and not one person said, you might wanna button that shirt. I had, I had my um, Goodwill flannel shirt over top of it. Nobody told me. So I'm walking around all with my cute boondoggle shirt and chocolate, like right here. I got pictures. I'll share it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Gooberitis. It's the next one. It's coming. I'm, I have a terminal case of Gooberitis. It'll be on a t-shirt. Get ready. Okay, friends. Um, I'm doing a whole line of the fun things I say. Hopefully y'all will like them. And they're about, we're going to keep them around 20 bucks because I feel like that's a decent t-shirt. And these are really comfortable and they're nice and they're like cotton and they feel great. They just have a little bit of, a little bit of something in them so they don't stretch and shrink, but they are really comfortable. So we wanted to have good quality and totally loving that. Um, I'm going to work on this, play with this a little bit before somebody comes in, and then I'm gonna get ready to open my shop. And if you're anywhere close to us, come see me. Oh, thank you, Larissa. Honey, if you don't know anything, if you're new here, what you see is what you get. I don't have the capacity to be anything but me <laughs> because I am such a mess, but I am God's mess, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am so okay with that. I'm good. I'm good being a hot mess. I used to, go, I used to apologize for it, and I'm like, I'm a card-carrying hot mess girl. I'm okay. I'm on the struggle bus. I'm a hot mess. I'm right now, my house is in squalor, and if my children were underage, CPS would come and take them. That's all I'm going to say. Because all I do is work, sleep, eat, and go to church on Sunday. And I'm working on that. And I, I'm, it, it's just, it's just, my dog, his hair is everywhere. Oh, it's just amazing. So, don't come in here and thinking, man, she's got the life. I mean, literally, you don't even want to know. So, all right, going to get busy. Come see me. The house, the shop is clean. The shop is clean. So, I do that. But my, we live in squalor right now. So, that's all I'm going to do. It's okay. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It is all good. But I hope I'm always, when you meet me, if you've ever met me and you're on here, you know what you, I'm, I'm the same. Um, I'm the same right here as I am on here as I am in person. I'm pretty much what you see is what you get. And if I'm not, somebody call me out on it, okay? All right, I love y'all so much. Go be a part of the solution. Don't be a part of the problem. Let's be a part of the solution. Let's love people well. Let's be creative. Let's share our spirit. Let's just, let's change this world one smile at a time, one kindness at a time. Let's be Jesus. Let's be the light. Let's go out there and let's love people well. Because this world needs it. You know, it totally does. And this is all fluff and fun. And I love being creative. But let's change the world with being, you know. Let's just be kind. Let's be loving. Let's just, 
this could make a difference because this life is too short. Okay, I love y'all so much, and I will see you um, maybe later today. And then I'm not going to do any more on this because we're going to do it together. All right, I'll snap a picture and we'll do. You know, Larissa, I'm not the best. It's all Jesus. It's got nothing to do with me. So I appreciate that. But this is all because if it were me, I'm so bad. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Okay, friends, I'm going to let you go and have a great day. And I will be back. If you don't get the telegram, get it. Go join because I'll, I'll be like, I'm going live. And so anyway. And, you know, or if not, catch the replay. I'm good with it because I'm a mess. You can fast forward through all the 